When looking at planet Earth from space, you will technically be observing both Jack Reacher and Jason Bourne. Reacher would be easier to see because he's so large and mighty. Bourne is just Matt Damon size. I mean, he's not little, <laughs> he's not Jack Reacher. In this world, Bourne is the exact same height as Mini Driver. Look that up. And we see Reacher in the crowd, weirdly emotionless as he enjoys the show. The gal behind him asks him to sit down as she can't see. He explains that he is sitting down and <laughs> vapors, as does her husband. Yes. Born on one side and Reacher on the other. Because that's what we came for, right? The fist fight? I mean, they could shoot each other, but that's lame. They could get in a car chase, but neither of them would run. So who are they going to chase? <laughs> they could kill each other a million different ways, so that isn't even a good way to measure it. The best way, I think, is to the pain. And if you don't know what to the pain means, you have a hole in your life, you have to go watch Prisoners of Princess Bride right after you watch this show and vote. And note what Wesley says. That is what to the pain means. It means I leave you in anguish, wallowing in freakish misery forever. So let's skip past the fight. And let's say that it was Reacher that looked like Beetle Bailey after the start of the up. I mean, that would never happen because Reacher is too tough. But if we make pretend it happened, Warren still loses. Because the next day, he still has to worry about who he really, really is, or whether someone is gonna come up to him at Trader Joe's and say, persimmons don't fit in my mouth, triggering a whole new mission he has no choice but to undertake. Whoever wins the fight, it's Bourne, who will wallow in freakish misery forever. Preacher won't, he does all his dirty deeds knowing full well what they are, and he sleeps like a baby. If the fight had been to the death, Bourne would have hesitated. It'd be Reacher, wouldn't it? That's all you need to know. Bourne has existential crises about who he is and what he's done and what else someone can else uh, someone else can make him do. Preacher rides the bus and hopes there's some townies harassing a gal at the next stop so he can break their bones. If Bourne fought Reacher before he knew who he really was, and it was just animal instinct and training, he would have had a chance. But he didn't do that. When he fought, he did know who he was. Right now, that means loser. Oh, Reacher, Reacher, Reacher. He's he's a he's a guy, you know. He um gets out there, does his thing. It's cool, I guess. But you know, uh, you know, you know, was getting all pretty words and shit. That was really cute. Um, but um, yeah. I mean, yeah. Jason Bourne is just how do you say he's he's MacGyver with a bigger dick. Uh, you know, and, and, you know, sure, he's got uh, his existential fucking, uh, you know, self-identity issues. Uh, but even while working through all that, this dude has never failed. Him. This dude, yeah, sure, he might have fucking little Manchurian in him. Sure, you know, this shit happens. But, uh, you know, what are you going to fucking do? This dude woke up not knowing who the fuck he is where the fuck he came from, how he knows how to do all these fucking amazing fucking things, but still is able to fucking power through. While, while trying to figure himself out, this dude is still fucking kicking ass and taking it. Uh, Jason Bourne is really someone I would never want to meet in a dark alley. Reacher, you'd see him coming from a mile away, so I wouldn't even just go in the alley in the first place. You know, it's, it's a case of brute over intellect you know while you know it's it's reacher's just a big oaf you know like yeah cool looks like fucking frankenstein like that's not a thing i would ever want anybody to say about me that's horrible i i, I mean what what i wish one day i want to grow up to be just like this. what it comes down to is jason Bourne is is a very scary book. While he's on the unassuming, it is amazing that once again his brain is fucking fried. But he's always going to power through. He's always going to figure out how to get the job done. Born is not even he's not even gonna have to get within arm's reach of Reacher. That's the best part. It's like, you know, that's what his Reacher's got. It's like it's big big shoulders. I got big shoulders, but I don't find myself that impressive. It's a very, very tough conversation. The the two people are completely different entities. They're they're different anomalies at that. Um, and how do you how do you compare the two except saying you know, 
like Breacher is just a big old oaf. Uh, and, uh, you know, like Jason Bourne is powerful. Like, with, with we haven't even seen the full extent of Jason Bourne's abilities, in my opinion. He, he's a, a dude with limitless talents. He is so adaptable. It's fucking ridiculous. He, this dude blows up everything. He leaves a fucking, a, uh, you know, a, a, a one mile trail of damage behind him. You know, like he's got no class. He's got no style. He's got, you know, no pizzazz, no uh, je ne sais quoi. Um, and I'm sorry for, you know, Reacher's a little too dumb to get that. He's like, I don't know what. Um, <laughs> and, you know, it's just, it's really tough. Like, I mean, how can you not love Jason Bourne always showing up, always coming through with the mission? Like, he, he's got, what, the one freaking chick, like, in every single movie? But meanwhile, like, Reacher's going to pretty much fuck anything and everything that moves. It's fucking pathetic, <laughs> man. Like, all right, good. You got big old shoulders. Um, you know, <laughs> what, what, what are we talking about here? This guy is... He's a human wrecking ball. Why would you want that around? It's just like everywhere he goes, trouble fucking follows. Jason Bourne's just trying to figure out who the fuck he is. Dude woke up and was like, holy shit. Who the fuck am I and why can I kick so much ass? I love Bourne for that simple fact. The guy doesn't even know who the fuck he is, but he's still going to like do what he got to fucking do. This guy's still serving our country, whether he's a, on paper or not. But, you know, it's... Yeah. I, he's my Manchurian candidate. <laughs> I mean, it's it's wild that my guy is being called an oaf. Warren only does what he's told, and his entire fucking plan is, I will go to this place and find a piece of paper with an arrow. I will follow that arrow and go to the next place and find out I used to like ring ding. Like... <laughs> The fact is, is that he's formidable, but why is he formidable? Because everybody told him he was formidable. Sure, he memorized a bunch of license plates, but that's like fucking memorizing the list of losing lottery numbers. Who cares? <coughs> Reacher has a, a photographic memory. He graduated from West Point, but instead of fucking getting all wound up, he's going, oh, I have to go fight my fister lawn who stole the bearer bonds and the watch codes from the fucking Norwegian sea vault. He just goes, yeah, I'm gonna, Go over to this town and see what's happening. And throw my pants away for some reason. Born will do what he's told, and it doesn't matter who's holding the fucking remote. So, sure, he's on our side for now, but is he really? Like, he's just a blunt instrument. I mean, he's got little pointy bits. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm not doubting any of his ability. I mean, whatever they stuck in the back of his head and make into his brain it was it was legit he can do all that stuff and he knows all that stuff but when you leave him to his own devices what does he do i'm gonna go teach pop because i don't want to do any of the things i was trained to do i choose specifically not to and yes renee you said before you would not ever want to meet Jason Bourne in a dark alley, but the thing is, is that you would never meet Jason Bourne in a dark alley because he wouldn't go to one unless somebody told him to. Just as thing as a friend. Uh, <laughs> why would you like to ask Acadia a question? Um, I do. Um, what are Reacher's, um, okay, let, actually, you you know both these characters. What um which one of Jason's Jason Bourne's strengths would give Reacher the hardest time? Car driving, hundred percent. Say again. Car driving. He's not a Reacher is not an automotive man. He takes the fucking bus. He could have a car if he wanted, but he doesn't. He just takes the bus and walks everywhere. So yeah, that's what you on. always want to wait for a hero to get off the clock. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, he's at the Greyhound station. He'll be here in about it. He's taking the 114 out of fucking Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah, that's I what you want in a hero. Mm -hmm. Yep, because yeah. we want Born. It takes him four fucking movies to actually be the person chasing somebody. Every other time, he was the one getting chased. 
<laughs> Reacher I mean, would just stand uh, in the middle of the street like Joker in the Dark Knight, waiting to get run over, and it wouldn't work. Yeah, that doesn't sound oafish at all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, again, this, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, uh, yeah. He can drive a car. Like, how is that a quality that you're, like, worried about? Like, why would that, like, this, yeah, again, this guy has to worry about bus fare. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He can pay it. Oh, shit, shit. He, uh, shit. He missed the fucking 114. He's not going to be able to catch the, he's gonna, not going to be here for another two hours because he's going to catch the 214. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always want my heroes to be coming off that Greyhound. Yeah, that's that's all. Uh... Renee, I, I was looking at your at your little chart in the background, and it made me think: if you were to quantify uh, both Jason Bourne and Jack Reacher as a strain of weed, what would what would what would the makeup of each be? Um. Jack Reacher would be Alaskan Thunderfuck. Um, and wait, 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 hang on, before you before you get to what, what is a, is that one you just made up or is that an actual one? And what what's the what's no, the what's what's actual a, fucking uh, okay, what's it comprised of? <laughs> um, if I believe if I remember correctly, it was a hybrid, a sativa leaning hybrid, um, and it had qualities of like a purple haze, but it's very buzzy. Just like you know, stuff. I I'm a, I'm an indica man. I like to keep it chill. I like to you know <laughs> keep my eyes real fucking low. Um, but yeah, an Alaskan thunderfuck is just an obnoxious name. Just like fucking. Reaching, <laughs> <I'm not laughs> so, I ain't uh, mad well, about it. <laughs> <laughs> and so what's born? Uh, born is a uh, blue dream. Blue dream. I was also a hybrid, but indica leaning. Um, had a little bit of that sour diesel in him because he doesn't know much about his history, his past, so he's like kind of bitter. Um, <laughs> and uh, but that dreamy part again, you know, still trying to figure out what's going on in his fucking past. Sorry, you know, he uh needs to be told where to go to fucking find out who the fuck he is. <laughs> I mean, like, Jesus Christ, give him a fucking break. You know, the, the fucking our government failed this man and he's still thriving. Jason Bourne has had a fucking tough life, man. Uh, you know, I, if I remember correctly, he signed up for this, but also didn't sign up for this. It's just really fucking tragic that our government fucking failed this young man. I mean, he could have been somebody, and all he wants to do is find out who he is. Um, and it's just, dude, I, I have to give all the love to Bourne. Like, that really... Like, could you imagine what that'd be like? Yeah, it's like not even just amnesia. It's like amnesia and, like, everybody wants to kill you. And they can't, which is even funny. But, like, <laughs> I, I just... It's a better story. He's a little... Like I said, he's a little more suave. He's got a little more class. You know what I'm saying? The man... Guy classes up the joint. Um, and, uh... Yeah, that's it, man. If you need somebody to fight some super secret sleeper agent on the edge of a volcano in order to ensure that the Corthlawn Syndicate does not take over, I don't know, fucking Google or some shit like that, then you would 100% call for But in every other situation of life, he's just, he went to teach college. The poor fucker's got so much PTSD some freshman asked him if this was going to be on the test, punched him right in the throat. <laughs> so I think my my main issue is not with what Bourne's talents are. I think the reason that he would lose to Reacher is because nobody in the circles that he travels would ever tell him, hey, you're going to go kill that Reacher guy who just fucking punched this hillbilly in the pit. He, it would never happen because Reacher is operating on the level that he chooses to operate. Born is an experiment. Reacher is the fucking control. He's the one that they looked at to say, well, how do we make this better? And they said, well, make him friends with Ben Affleck. That was basically their entire move. I, I so, don't know who that is. <laughs> that's not canon. So. <laughs> I guess the the fact is is that I respect Jason Bourne, but unless you specifically manufacture it so that somebody tells him he has to go kill Jack Reacher, 
He's just gonna sit in his office at Sad University and wish that he had control over his own life. And of course the camera would be shaky as fuck while you're looking at him doing it, but... <laughs>